Hi there, I'm Monia from season six of Alone and Buckskin Revolution, and we're getting pretty close to the premiere. So in order to uh, give some little teasers about what went on out there without giving too much away, I'm doing a series of videos about some of the gear that I brought and some of my preparations for my time out. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the bow that I brought out. So I typically shoot a traditional self bow made of just wood. Um, but for my time out, I wanted something a little bit more, uh, a little bit sturdier and able to hand up to handle the rigors of travel and being strung a lot more often and also handling the really cold temperatures I was likely to encounter. So I decided to bring a Samic takedown bow. It's a 45 pound bow and I made an arrow silencer with some bobcat fur and the nice thing about this bow, of course, is one, that it's a takedown bow, which means it breaks into three parts. So way easier to take this on an airplane or anywhere that you might be traveling than a full-sized recurved bow. All right, well, I've got my bow together now, both of the limbs on, and uh, I've got the string on. So I went with a three-ply fast flight string, which is gonna release arrows a little bit faster than some other strings and with beaver fur silencers so that I have a silencer both for the arrow rest so the arrow doesn't make a noise as I'm drying it and so the string doesn't make a noise on the release. Uh, so the Samic Nighthawk is uh, mostly wooden but it also is laminated wood and it does have a fiberglass laminate on the outside and this was really important to me because one, I wanted a bow that I could leave strung all the time and while my preference in other conditions is shooting a self bow, so an all wood bow, those you can't leave strung or they're gonna take a string follow. They're gonna start to bend in the direction that the string is and that means they're gonna be losing poundage over time. So that wasn't gonna work. And I'm fine normally with stringing a bow, but I was just wanting to, to be conscious of the possibility that I might get weak with calorie deprivation while I was out there because we've seen some folks from alone previously run into that issue and I just didn't want to risk that. So a bow that I could leave strung all the time was key. Plus, with the kind of temperatures it looked like we might be facing in the Arctic, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to be taking an all wood bow that was going to risk cracking, breaking, or stacking when under really, really cold conditions. Stacking is when the wood fibers of your bow compress in a permanent way, which can cause a hinge, which can lead to a break. And most things are more brittle in really low temperatures. So it seemed like a good idea to go with the laminate fiberglass bow for that reason. Or for the mostly wooden, but a little bit of fiberglass laminate bow. Um, yeah, so that's the bow, 45 pound Samic Nighthawk and served me well. I brought out gold tip traditional arrows with me. I brought 500 spine arrows with a variety of different heads. Uh, I brought four broad heads and three field points and two judo points. And they were all screw on and I had them all with adapters so that they were all weighted to 150 grains so that the weight of my arrows was gonna be consistent no matter what head I had on them. So uh, judo points are a particular type of small game point that has wire on the outside, which means that they don't bury themselves into the ground as easily as other arrows. So they're harder to lose because with only nine arrows, losing an arrow I knew would be a big deal out there. So I tried to kind of hedge my bets. I brought more broadheads than anything else because getting big game was definitely a key strategy. Um, but yeah, those, those are what I chose in terms of my bow and my arrows and uh, I can't tell you how well I did with them. I can't give it away so you're just gonna have to watch and see and we'll be able to talk about it after the season. So hope you enjoy. I'm super excited. I don't know how other people did out there either so uh, it's gonna be as much of a surprise to me as it is to you when we watch the season so I can hardly wait. Thanks so much for joining me.